Hey, it's Kevin Tilfer with JK on the Run, and longtime readers know that I've been a big fan of the Samsung Q1 UMPC series of devices. I've owned three of them. This is the latest one that I've got, and it's probably about a year and a half, maybe two years old. It's got a 1.33 gigahertz Intel Core Solo processor. Well, I started thinking recently about an Android device, and I'm not sure I want another phone. So the Arcos Internet tablet has got my eye. It's, our, it's uh, Android on a larger screen. A uh, 4.8 inch screen that has, but this has a 7 inch screen, and I'm thinking, you know what? There's got to be a way to get Android on here, and sure enough, there is. I went over to android-x86.org and found a port that I have installed on here. It is actually the primary operating system on this device right now. I've wiped off Windows 7 Ultimate, I've put Android 1.6 on here, and I've been playing with it. I want to show it to you. I will caution you right now, this is not something I would recommend people doing because there's a lot of things that don't work. Some things do. The Wi-Fi works, my keyboard works, the mouse buttons and all that work, but no Bluetooth, uh, no touchscreen, unfortunately. I really wish I had the touchscreen working. And a couple other little quirks that just won't make this an everyday experience for anybody. But in any case, let me give you a closer look at Android 1.6 on the Samsung Q1 UMPC. All right, let's fire up the Samsung Q1 UMPC. It's running Android 1.6, a port of Android. That's the only thing I have on this hard drive. I just want to clarify that just for ease of use, I do have an Apple keyboard and mouse connected right now. I will show you how I can use these keys, um, but I do want to clarify that. So let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. I will say that while not everything works, I mean, this gives you a good way to kick the tires of Android, and, and it's very speedy, obviously. It's a 1.33 gigahertz, you know, mobile processor, a core solo. So, now there's going to be some hardware issues, like here it never really can tell the battery charge. That's all fine, well, and good. But anyway, we're booted up pretty quick. I'm in an 800 by 600 res, I believe. I do have all three screens that you would normally have. Boy, I wish the touchscreen worked for this, and I'm really hoping that something happens in that area to make that work. But as it is, I can use this keyboard, and I can use the um, the joystick, and I can even go into mouse mode and do different things. Move the cursor or move from icon to icon. So, But again, for ease of use, I'm just going to use this for now. Um, so we've got... You know, the screen is not obviously optimized. Um, if I wanted to uh, put a shortcut there, I can do so, but I'm only going to get four wide so I can fit 16 on a screen. Um, it's kind of a little kludgy, but hey, it works. Let's move that back up. I guess what we should do is let's get a little Wi Fi action going on because that does work. And where's my settings? There's my settings. You'll see everything's pretty darn zippy. <laughs> Turning on Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is not working in this port. Uh, obviously the phone things aren't going to work either. So let's see. We should see an icon up at the top right once we get connected to a wireless network, which we are. Uh, let's just go into JK on the run. So you can see the browser real quick. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Hitting the space bar either right here will move me down. Shift and space moves me back up. I've got my mouse mode so I can click on a link. Uh, let's see. Let's click that one. Quite zippy. Works really well. I was actually tweeting on this last night, which was kind of fun. So, uh, unfortunately, and here's the biggest drawback I'm finding. Due to the keyboard mapping, I do not have a keyboard that works to get the menu screen. That's the hardware menu button on all the Android devices. Well, not necessarily hardware, but I cannot get the menu. Um, and that's really disappointing, so I have to keep escaping out to go back. I'm talking to the developers that are working on this port. They tell me that the key to the next to the left control key will get you the menu, but unfortunately on this particular keyboard that is not working and I don't have another USB keyboard. So I've tried the Bluetooth keyboard, unfortunately no Bluetooth support here yet. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, but there's quite a bit, like I said, that doesn't work. Another problem I'm having right now is in this app store I can, I can actually um, try and get 
an app. It will download. It's updating it right now. These are all my updates. Okay, that's fine. Um, here you can see I've got my little notifications. So if I go in here and say updates available, I try and get it. Let's grab it, download now. It will download it and it says it's ready to install, but I then run into an issue. Uh, not the blocked applications. In fact, let's just change that to unknown sources. We'll allow that. Let's go back to the notifications. You'll see that there's some type of memory issue here. Where am I going? Updates available. Okay. Let's get it again. I thought I got it. Okay, it's ready to install. Here's where you're going to see my first problem. App Store cannot be viewed. Free up some space on your phone. What phone? And try again. Unfortunately, you know, there's plenty of room on the hard drive. I don't know if this port is limited to a certain space that it can run in. I'm not sure, but I can't install anything yet, and that's kind of a bummer. But um, that pretty much blows. Uh, let's see, what else can I show you? I mean, there's the file manager that um, isn't standard, I don't think. Maybe it is. I haven't played with the file manager or if there is one in uh, Android natively. But, you know, here is just your basic file manager. Again, you can see how zippy things are. And most of the time I'd be focused on the, on the browser, doing Gmail stuff, Twitter, whatnot. Um, let's go back here. The new QE reader. So if I wanted to leave a comment, it actually works fine. I wonder if I could blog from this. That would be kind of neat. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to post the comment, but... Um, here's something I haven't tried yet. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, no flashy. No flash. It'd be nice if we can get that built in too. Oh, let's see. What else could I show you? Let's clear the notifications just because they're bothering me. I think everything is really fast. Let's use this keyboard here so you can see. Tech meme. I've got a camera between myself and this, so it's kind of difficult to be doing this, so bear with me. I mean, this should be almost instantaneous, and it is. I mean, it's a very Ajaxy site. Let's change the preferences to show the discussions. I mean, it's like almost instant when it does it. Show discussion excerpts. When I do this here, watch all these excerpts. I mean, it's just immediate. Boom. Whoops. Would help if I hit it. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Done. So now if I space bar down, you can see them all. It's just a really fast experience, and it should be. I mean, I'm running a mobile operating system on a, on a mobile computer. Not so much a smartphone platform, but an actual UMPC platform. So let's see other things that, whoops, that did escape. Other things that don't work. Uh, I haven't got the camera to work yet. I haven't tried very hard. So I'll have to play with that for a little bit. I have sent some emails from it, um, but I think, yeah, it's not being persistent in terms of storing the data, so I need to look at that as well, because I had my email set up prior. So I'm going to have to take a look at that. Let's use the big keyboard so I don't get in the way. Um, RSS reader, I think it comes with slash dot already preloaded, so if I say download, boom. There's the story. I can't yet get to multiple browser windows. I see them when I do the download or when I when I did that a second ago, but I can't get to that yet, so I'll have to look at that. Uh, let's see. I don't have any music on there, nor do I have any pictures on there. I wonder if I could grab a picture. I don't know. Let's see if we can grab a picture and then view it. Save image. Okay, so that's good. And then if I go into the media gallery, 
obviously I'm just playing around here, but all pictures. There it is. Share. I could email it or I can send it via MMS. Of course, I can't do that really. So we'll get out of there. Can zoom. Very nice. I can make that my background. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. I should have put some music on here. Unfortunately, I haven't. Well, I got a couple things I need to work on, obviously. I need to figure out how to get persistent storage. I need to, I would love to get the touchscreen working. Um, that would be really, really nice. Could add widgets. I don't have anything in the calendar because of no persistent storage, but hey, you can add it. And we can move it over here. Um, Bluetooth would be awesome. The menu key, that's really what's killing me right now. I've got to get that menu key working. So, um, but whatever, I will keep playing. It actually wasn't too bad. You could uh, download this. I'll give you a link. It's at the android-x86.org site. So I'll put a link out in the notes to this little video and you can see, you can download it for yourself. You can do it in a live CD or a live USB. I was doing it live CD and said, you know what, this is usable enough for the browser that I could, I'm just gonna wipe Windows 7. Yeah, but I'm kinda crazy that way, but uh, not something everybody would do, not something I would recommend, but I plan to uh, keep this on here for a little bit and putz around with it. I just wish I could get that menu button. I'm gonna have to talk to those folks and see what I can do about that. In any case, this is Kevin C. Toefel with JK on the Run signing off after showing you Android 1.6 on a Samsung Q1 UM PC. And just before we go, there it is, firmware version 1.6. Cool. All right, have a good one.